With the average temperature this winter in Lynchburg hovering around 37 degrees, it's too chilly for the crew team to take the boats out on Smith Mountain Lake like they do in the spring, summer, and fall. The team must transition to indoor training in order to keep their endurance level high and make sure they are in the best shape possible when the temperatures allow for outdoor training once again. Really this part of the rowing season is kind of the worst part of the rowing season, the hardest part of the rowing season because this is, it's a pretty long time away from the water. We're not really out in any boats until March. Um, and erging, it's tough. It's really difficult. Um, and this is, this is really the time where the, you know, the people on the team who really step up and um, kind of take responsibility for themselves and also their teammates um, in, you know, in either group relays or individual competitions, um, they really start to show themselves. And um, it's kind of an exciting time because even though the ERG kind of, it's, I mean, it's still, it's a really, it's a really difficult, you know, machine to use. It's a really, really good tool for, for giving us like a definitive um, metric for um, power exertion um, for, for individual rowers. And we don't really get that with the boat. Um, so it's, it's, it kind of pays off. We ended our last race uh, mid-November and we kept on, uh, we came inside to do some training um, just to keep that momentum going and so then they leave for break. Um, when we come back, we try and pick up. A lot of times it's difficult for, they're, they're not quite at the same level they were when they left. So we do a little bit of sometimes catching up, um, which can be difficult. Um, and then, so we just keep, keep that momentum going and keep training. We do a lot of uh, erg workouts on the rowing machine. Um, we're in here uh, four days a week rowing on the machines. We do um, midweek, we have like a sort of cross training day where we might do stadiums or go on long runs or um, do some circuit training, things like that. And they also weight lift uh, twice a week as well. So just keeping that strength, gaining that strength, um, muscle mass and things throughout the winter. Okay, so winter training is all on the rowing machines. We use Concept2, um, call them the ergs. Uh, we get here every morning. We usually have girls practice and guys practice and we switch it every week. Uh, we row about at least like 5,000 meters uh, on the ergs every day. Um, it's not as fun as the boats, but it definitely, it builds your strength and it really like focuses on um, your cardio and like muscular work, so. A dreaded workout machine, the ergs, keep the athletes in competition ready shape and help motivate the team to push themselves to be their best. So erg training is, it's our staple really. It's our, um, it's our tool that we use to get stronger, get faster, um, build our cardio, um, our stamina. And so it's, it's really important to us to have um, this rowing, these rowing machines here. Um, we, like I said, we do four erg workouts a week. Um, a lot of times the kids will even train on their own over the weekends. Um, you know, some of them are that dedicated to keep, keep, that, uh, keep that up and keep that going. We do vary it so, you know, the pieces aren't always the same. Well, one, one workout might um, be long distance workout and we'll do interval training, we'll do speed work, things like that to, to work on the, the different aspects of building an all around um, good physical base for, for rowing. The best way to get over the, the pain of being on the erg is to just kind of tell yourself that you like erging. That's, it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like sort of a, a willful like Stockholm syndrome sort of thing. It's kind of weird, but it's, it really works. It really works very well because if you if you think negatively about the erg, then you're just going to hate the erg and you're going to negatively affect the people around you. But if you tell yourself that you like the erg, you'll actually kind of start finding yourself actually finding positive things about it. So, yeah. <laughs> Training through the winter months is difficult for the crew team, but the payoff comes in the spring when they put the boats back in the water again for the first time since the fall and focus on finishing well in their upcoming regattas. So we are definitely excited to be getting back on the water uh, because obviously between March and May, that, those are some of the most important months in the entire rowing season, really the rowing year, um, especially, especially for, for club college rowers. We're really kind of showing our excitement for getting back on the water by training here over winter. We always look forward to get, getting back on the water. Um, our set date is usually March 1st. March 1st this year falls on a Thursday, so we're gonna try to get on the water that Monday, um, weather, you know, de depending of course. Um, so we, we look forward to that, that time to, to get back on the water and to get back in the boats and, and uh, that's always 
you know, the, the, the fun part that we really enjoy. Um, so we, we, we're looking forward to that.